Hi and welcome students. In this video I'll be covering Microsoft PowerPoint 2016 and I'm going to show you how to format a presentation. Let's get started. So the first thing that you'll see here is this presentation is on Seattle and we're going to learn how to apply a theme variant. So theme variants are a design change on our presentations so we're going to go right up here to the to the design tab and within the design tab you're going to see your themes group on the left and your variants on the right. I'm going to hover over a couple of these so you can see the difference. Okay, so there's the theme differences here, and the variants typically will change the color of the uh, theme itself. And so if I right click this on any variant, you could uh, choose to apply it to all slides, or you could choose to apply it to just the selected slides, which is what I'm going to do here. And you'll see that just Seattle changes over here in the thumbnails. Then to apply it to all slides, you could either just click on it or click apply to all slides on any of the variants. So when we apply a variant uh, to our presentation, it changes the color of the presentation, but not necessarily the theme itself. All right. So now that we've learned how to do that, we're next going to learn how to change fonts and font sizes. So I'm going to go down to this slide here. All right. So I have my Seattle and uh, as my title and making the most of your first port as the subtitle. If I want to click inside of here, you're going to notice that there's going to be a dotted border around the entire thing with sizing handles on each corner and side. That's called your placeholder. And so this placeholder contains a lot of text within it. In this case, Seattle and making the most of your first port. So I'm going to show you how to change these individually. So Seattle is right here and it's actually a separate paragraph from the one below it and it's only one word. So if I ever want to select one word in a PowerPoint or a Word document, all I have to do is double, uh, double click it. One more time double click and it's going to even open up this mini toolbar so if I want to do something like change a font size real quick this is actually a good way to do it I could change this font size uh, to be a little bit larger so it takes up more of that area I'm going to choose 80 in this case all right now as I said before single clicking goes in between letters double clicking selects a word and triple clicking you'll see I'm going to do this on the subtitle right here Triple clicking selects your whole entire paragraph. So now that I have this whole entire paragraph selected, let's say I want to change the font size here. Now you guys saw earlier I used this toolbar to do it, the quick access toolbar. You could also just go to the home tab, the font group, and change the font size from 20, and let's try 36 on that one. That looks good. All right, so we've changed the font size and we've increased the font size on both of those. Now what we're gonna learn how to do is change font styles and font colors. So on this one, I'm gonna use this slide right over here. And this is slide uh, three. And slide three says um, basically, and if you can spare one more day. Now, what if we wanna make this look a little bit different? Well. I want to change the color of this text and to change the color of this text I'm going to click inside of the text for the placeholder and some of you might be saying oh well to select all or to apply all of the changes to it we have to highlight from beginning to end okay now you can do that that's fine but a faster way to do this is by going right up here to the placeholder and if you click on the placeholder anywhere that's not on a sizing handle you will click it and you'll notice it'll turn from a dotted line to a solid line. Whenever it's a solid line, that means anything within the placeholder or any changes you make to that uh, text or object within the placeholder, it's all going to be changed. So if I go to the home tab and to the font group and I click on this drop down arrow for font color, I could choose a font color. The top area are my theme colors, which come from the theme that I selected in the design tab, and the standard colors are always listed right down here. And so on this one, I'm going to choose one of these colors. I'm going to choose this dark green color right here. And so I select it, okay, and you can see what it looks like. One more time, I clicked on the arrow, and then I clicked right there, okay. What if I wanted it to be just a little bit darker? Well, the themes you can see, they go from the standard color to a lighter version all the way down to the darkest version. And so I'm going to choose that one. And you'll see the differences in the color. All right, so now that that color's been selected, I want you to notice something about that font color button. The color by default is the last color that you used in your text. So if I say wanted to change the text of a different set of, uh, or uh, change the color of a different set of text, let's say on slide five here, all I have to do is click inside of here, click the placeholder, and then I can click on the actual icon itself to change that, um, that text. 
and I could do the same thing with this text below here. The reason that I'm deciding to change this text here is because you'll notice that the text is pretty light. It's a light gray with a white background. Typically if we're going to have a white or a light colored background you want black or a dark text. Okay, And so there's your font group. We click on that and we click the font color button and you'll see that the color is now changed. Alright, good. So now that we have this slide displayed, we're going to learn how to align the text within it. And so um, we're going to, on, dis on uh, slide 5 here, click anywhere inside of the paragraph. And so if you click anywhere inside of the paragraph, in the Home tab on the Paragraph group, you're going to find your alignment options. Over here, if I click Center, you'll notice that it centers the content right in the middle of the placeholder. Okay, so depending on where your placeholder is at is where that'll go. Okay, and so you'll see that it moves it right to the center. Now, if I wanted to say move this to the center as well, I would do the same thing. Click inside of here, and I can move that right to the center as well. Okay, now the last thing that I'm going to be going over, or at least the last uh, couple things that I'm going to be going over here, um, is changing line spacing. And so you'll see on uh, slide six here that I have a picture on the right side, and then I have text on the left. Well, the problem with this text is it's very close together. If I have a picture that's much larger than the text, I may consider increasing the amount of space that occurs in between each text. All right, so let's go to the Home tab, the Paragraph group, and you're also going to find your spacing options in here. It's this button right here called Line Spacing. Control how much space appears in between the text, um, or the lines of text, rather. And so I click that, and you'll see that now I can choose 1, 1.5, 2.0. 2.0 is what I'm going to choose here, and that's equivalent to double space. If you've ever heard anyone say double space your text, that's what they're talking about. All right, so just to return back to slide one here, um, I'm going to show you how to change the slide layout. Right here, you'll see that this is uh, how the slide is set up, and you can change the layout of the slide at any point. And so that's in our home tab, our slides group and you'll see that there's a button for layout. These layouts are based off of um, preset PowerPoint options. So we have a title slide, which is good for titles, title and content, two content, which is good for things like two pictures or a picture on the, uh, on the right, text on the left. There's all kinds of different uh, layouts you could work with. Um, you'll see right over here, there's a picture with the caption, and you'll notice that these layouts vary just a little bit depending on uh, which theme you've selected. So on this one, I'm gonna choose section header, and you'll see it just moves the text aligned left on this side with the title on top and the subtitle right below it. So hopefully this video has uh, taught you a little bit about formatting your presentations. I kind of tried to go through and touch, touch on some things that maybe you haven't seen in my PowerPoint 2016 playlist so far. So hopefully it helped you out. If it did and you learned something, please give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have a question about anything that I covered, please put it in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.